everybody, Dan Lippert here, doing a little video on the ARDJ version 1.5. This video I'm just going to show you kind of what my workflow has been with the program, as well as just some general tips and things that I've learned after working with the program uh, over the last couple of months, kind of on and off. Um, this project started as a installation in a gallery in Seattle, so it was largely a C++ command command line tool that all the all the variables were hard coded and things like that and it was you know not very user friendly. I did put the source up and uh and I did get some knockoffs from from other companies and 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 things like that. But uh unfortunately I don't think it was very user friendly for an end user. So uh I've created this GUI right here that uh, allows you to kind of set up all the all the variables and all the parameters you want for when you're running the software. So right now I have all ten markers set up here and um, each of them have have names that correspond to what's in this set and you can change these names. Uh, now this is actually the jungle lead um, and it will show up in the ARDJ window once you actually get the program running. But don't put a space in the name or else it will crash it because these are actually being com command line arguments being sent out to the C++ program. So hopefully I'll get that fixed in a later version. But uh, for now, don't put any spaces in the marker names. Anyway. Um, so I'm just going to show you kind of what I do, but but you know, feel free to play around and and do lots of crazy different stuff with this. Maybe you just want to mix uh, like two virtual decks together and DJ with the markers, or have markers set up for EQ and have rotating like their your EQ knobs, and you know you could do all kinds of crazy stuff with this. Um, so this is just kind of how little demo on how you you might be able to set up, and if you have all kinds of different ideas and ideas for features and things like that, you know, feel free to send me an email uh, and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, this project's still at its baby stages, but uh, I'm happy to release it now because I think it's, it's actually usable. So, to get the uh, program going, I have an external camera set up. A little bit about the cameras. Uh, you don't need a very good camera. This is actually just a really low resolution. You can see how grainy it is. Uh, it's actually a camcorder hooked up via USB in its webcam mode, so it's a pretty, pretty cap crappy webcam. But uh, Apple EyeSight, you're going to get amazing frame rate and resolution. Uh, I tried it on another computer, and it, and it just looked really, really smooth and buttery. So, uh, you know, try different cameras. Uh, any camera that works on Mac will probably work. A camera I know that doesn't work is an Xbox Live camera, unfortunately. But uh, that's more of a Mac QuickTime thing than it is uh, ARDJ thing, because I'm using using the OpenGL Utility Toolkit, which uses QuickTime on Mac. So anyway, enough technical stuff about the camera. Uh, we've got our little window here, and if I if I throw a marker out, it's gonna it's gonna start rocking. So let's throw out the house lead, and you can see it shows up as uh, the house lead right there. There's your, your little camera. It shows you what the marker is and, and its position. And then, you know, the position will change as I change it. As I, as I change it. So, uh, before, before we get too into it, let me just show you what I have going on here in Ableton. Um, let me close this for a second. If you, if you run ARDJ while you're examining your mini-maps in Ableton, it's going to screw everything up because it's sending tons of notes all the time, lots of note-offs, and if there's a marker out, it's going to be sending all kinds of CC and note-on information. So make sure ARDJ is closed before you get into your mini-mapping or else you're going to screw everything up. So all this I did with the ARDJ Quick MIDI tool, which is included in the download, and I did another video on that that you can watch uh, how that works. It maybe took me five minutes. So each column has four notes associated with it, which would be the four directions of a marker. And uh, each column also has a, an effect or multiple effects on it. And then you can see there's some CCs mapped. So each marker's X and Y is mapped to, uh, in these cases, 
just simple filters, low pass filter, high pass filter. This one I got a little chorus. Uh, you know, whatever you want. Drum's got some some of that beat repeat on it, things like that. And uh, also right down here, if you see I have the stop columns, they also have the note offs that are in uh, in this tool right here. This note off over here, uh, I assign it to that column's stop column button. That way if I take the marker away, the clip will stop. So, let's relaunch it again. I'm gonna throw that smiley face out there, our house lead, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So you can hear that filter sweep. And if I rotate the card, it's gonna kind of change the the chord progression or something like that. And maybe we want to add some like extra texture elements. This guy, my bleeps. You can hear that kind of beeping away there. And of course, if you cover the marker with your hand, it's going to turn off because that's how this program works. It's a computer vision thing, so it needs to see it. And, uh,. Right now I have Ableton set up so every four bars it's uh, re-triggering. That gives me four bars to kind of mess around with it with my hands. I take my hands away every four bars so that way I don't, I don't screw with it too much. Just kind of swap them in and out, you know, you can combine all different kinds of stuff, you know, keep it interesting, keep twisting them, you know, do whatever you gotta do, and have fun with it, and, you know, if you make a little mistake, you know, you don't like the way something sounds, you know, just, I like to record it and go back, and, uh, kind of fix it in post, What's great about Ableton? I'm trying to see, I'm trying to remember what all I got in here. So there you have it. That's pretty much how the ARD based system works. www.liquid.net slash ARDJ for the download. The program is free. Uh, right now it's Mac only. If any Windows developers want to help me do a Windows version, I'd be more than happy to work with them or anyone who wants to get involved uh, with the software, working on the software and things like that. Uh, I'm going to release the source code shortly under a GPL version 3 license. And also, all the markers were done by uh, graphic designer Laura Andrews, and she's releasing all the markers under a Creative Commons license. So you can get that at my website as well. Um, that's about it. Hope you enjoy.